Hi, I'm Sean. Welcome to Sponge and Works. Today I'm going to show you how I made this handle for a brass mallet. Let's take a look at what you need to know to get started. First, you need a mallet head. I bought this off eBay for a good price and had a machinist remove the handle and drill a couple of holes to my specifications. Now you might certainly not have the same style mallet that I have, but the process will be very similar for you to make and install a handle of your liking. To begin, we need to take some measurements. First, let's take a measurement of the diameter of the head of the mallet, which is about one and an eighth inch. The second measurement that you need to know is the diameter of the through hole that will receive the handle. That is half inch made to my spec for the machinist. And the third measurement you need to know is the diameter of the through hole for the pin, which is 3 16 of an inch, again, to the specs for my machinist. After shaping the handle at the lathe, be sure to make the tenon a hair smaller than the hole in the mallet head. I then drilled a small hole near the shoulder of the tenon to prevent the handle from splitting when a wedge is driven into the tenon. Then cut the handle free from the blank and saw a slot for the wedge. Make the slot wide enough for the chosen wedge. Then install the mallet head by dropping the handle on a solid surface. When the head is fully seated, then drive the wedge into place. Now I drill the through hole for the brass pin. The pin is then hammered through and then cut off. It helps to be sure to fix your saw blade into the handle. Cut the excess off about a 16th inch proud of the mallet surface to allow the pin to be peened over. Now it's time to apply the finish. I use dark walnut Danish oil as it will blend the light and darker grains of this air dried walnut for a great look. Once the oil is dry, I rub in a wax polish and then buff it smooth. The result is a great looking and feeling chisel hammer for light to detailed work. I hope this was useful for you in turning an old tool into a new one that you'll use for years to come. I know I will. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more video projects. I'm Sean. I'll see you next time on Sponging Works. To keep up with current projects, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And for even more news and projects, go to spongingworks.com. Thanks for watching.